A newcomer in the self-driving electric car industry has shown that it has the ability to surpass even Tesla, mainly due to their advanced hardware and software which will power features such as their own version of full self-driving and similar security features. And most importantly, this car is not just a pipe dream that we can only expect in around 10 years, but rather, is something we can expect to buy and actually profit from in the very near future. Welcome to today's episode of AI News. In this episode, I will show you the hardware which is going to beat Elon Musk's Tesla in every way, how it will do that, and in what ways you will be able to profit from Luminaire's abilities. Luminaire Technologies, a self-driving technology startup, revealed its Blade self-driving sensor architecture in the beginning of last month which the company claims is a blueprint for carmakers to follow when incorporating litter sensors. Luminaire is working on new ways to integrate self-driving sensors into passenger and commercial cars. Its ambitions are part of a process that it believes will make self-driving vehicles commonplace in the next generation. Litter sensors are widespread in military helicopters, although not many automobiles have them yet. Luminaire aims to make it as simple as possible for you. The industry has struck a snag, Unable to make the technical jump to level 3, with vehicles so confident in their skills that owners could text or read while still being able to take control of the vehicle after a reasonable grace time, should the car warn them of imminent danger. Audi officially dropped its long-standing promises that its new A8 sedan's traffic jam pilot technology will accomplish precisely that last month. Musk is enticing customers to pay a one-time fee of $100,000 for full self-driving features that have yet to be implemented but which he says will let them to utilize their Teslas as money-making robo-taxis. When current level 2 systems, such as Tesla's Autopilot and Cadillac's Super Cruise, can't properly interpret their surroundings, they frequently disconnect. Those disengagements, or simply the prospect of them, necessitate drivers constant attention to the road. Even when systems are working properly, drivers may lose control and be unable to rapidly regain control. Current methods, according to Luminaire, feel like a parlor trick because of these restrictions. Why not just drive the old-fashioned way if a motorist must still pay full attention to the road? One of the most revolutionary aspects of Level 3 is that drivers would be able to reclaim time for work, leisure, or enjoyment. The other is safety, and the elusive goal of drastically lowering the 1.35 million people killed each year on the world's roads. Most automotive executives believe litter, short for laser-based radar, is a critical enabling technology for autonomous cars, or AVs. Regardless of the amount of light or the weather, litter is extremely effective at detecting things in the distance. Blade incorporates the company's iris litter sensors and technology into the vehicle's roofline, creating a halo around the top of commercial and passenger cars. Litter is a remote sensing technique that may be used to map structure throughout a region, such as vegetation height, density, and other features. Litter is a great tool for scientists researching vegetation across broad regions, since it directly assesses the height and density of plants on the ground. The light beams were formerly directed by spinning mirrors, but this resulted in clumsy systems with a lot of moving components. The S3, guided by a chip comprising a million small antennae, was revealed in 2016 by Quanergy as the first solid-state litter. The S3 was expected to cost $250 and have a range of 200 meters. While some AV firms specialize on trucks or robo-taxis, their main goal is to provide the groundwork for autonomy in all sorts of vehicles. Not only does the automobile business need amazing technology, but it also wants outstanding design. Iris and the Blade Design Idea, which they revealed last month, show how far they've gone in terms of providing a secure, omnipresent autonomous future. Iris, according to Luminaire, can identify and categorize things from a distance of up to 250 meters or 500 meters for bigger objects, and can determine the speed of moving objects in three dimensions, like a car changing lanes or a pedestrian stepping into the street. Iris features simply one laser and receiver, with two axis scanning mirrors providing the litter a 120 degree by 30 degree field of vision, rather than numerous lasers operating in concert. Iris, according to Luminaire CEO, will be priced at $1,000 at first, then reduced to $500 over time. Industry leader Velodyne's litter cost about $75,000 just two years ago. 
Velodyne has since began development on a solid state litter that it hopes to sell for less than $500. Blade, a sleek gold colored strip surrounding the vehicle and holding all of its sensors, is how Luminaire hopes to incorporate Iris into robo taxis and self driving trucks. Elon Musk, one of the most outspoken critics of litter, has branded the technology a fool's errand and warned anyone who relies on it is doomed. A sighting of a Tesla Model Y equipped with Luminaire litter in May sparked rumors that Musk was changing his mind, but as one analyst pointed out, Tesla is more likely utilizing litter to test and certify its own self-driving system, which now relies largely on cameras. Luminaire appears to be doing great with or without Tesla as a customer. The firm made news last year when it signed a deal with Volvo, stating that the Swedish automaker's cars will attain level 3 autonomy in 2022. Luminaire has partnerships with Audi, Toyota Research Institute, Daimler, and Chinese carmaker SAIC. A lot of the talk around self-driving vehicles revolves around the ostensible safety benefits the technology would provide. According to the narrative, humans are careless and even irresponsible, causing over 33,000 accidents and 36,000 deaths per year in the United States alone. However, when these huge-sounding figures are placed into context, you might argue that humans are extremely adept at driving. Roughly one person dies in a car accident every 100 million miles driven. Iris, our sensing system, will be integrated into the roof line of the vehicles seamlessly, a first for the industry. When you see the integration on the roof, you know that it's a vehicle that safely enables true autonomy. The whole next phase of safety really comes to safe autonomous driving. And that's what's coming in the next generation of Volvo models. Our first autonomous drive technology will be for use on highways. The rollout of autonomous functionality will be gradual. It needs always to be safe. Driver benefits of autonomous drives are huge. You are completely eyes off, hands off during a dedicated stretch of highway. So it's a big difference to daily life. In addition to autonomous driving, we're exploring LiDAR's abilities in improving future active safety and driver assistance systems. It's preferable to have no deaths than to have a few, and that's exactly what Luminaire wants. The business is moving towards the objective of zero accidents, developing the uncrashable car according to the CEO of Luminaire. It will take some time to figure out who is the better driver, but advancements like Iris appear to show that computers are slowly catching up to us humans in terms of driving ability. So what is your opinion on Luminaire's modular approach of giving any future electric vehicle the ability of self-driving and possibly surpassing Tesla's full self-driving capabilities due to their litter technology? Or do you share Elon Musk's opinion of litter and think it's nothing but a crutch for bad artificial intelligence software? One thing is for sure, the more people are working on self-driving technology, the faster that field will advance. Please tell us your opinion in the comment section below. I would love to hear what you have to say about it. Thank you for watching AI News. We consistently report on the newest technologies that are shaping the future of our world. We'd appreciate you subscribing and watching our other videos. See you around and take care.